Hi everybody, so in this video I wanted to show you how you could create custom locations for your trader in Daisy PC. Now there's probably better ways of doing this, um, but I couldn't find many tutorial videos on how you could uh, change the positions of traders. So what I'm talking about here is Dr. Jones's trader mod. Very, very popular, very, very cool. Um, this is the, uh, when you put the mod onto your server, um, it puts two trader bases, one at Green Mountain and the other one at Kamerno, I think. This is this is Green Mountain, you know, really good. You can go up to these NPCs and you can sell stuff or you can buy stuff. Um, and it adds, uh, you can add rubles into the game as well. However, what about if you wanted to add a trader, for example, here, this is in the um, one of the warehouses or the hangar or buildings at Northeast Airfield. You know, what if you wanted to have a trader like this? How would you do it? Well, that's what I'm going to show you in, in this video, because one of the great challenges you'll know is finding the coordinates for things. So let, let me let me take a step backwards. Um, I'm kind of assuming that you've installed the trader mod on your server and you're familiar with uh, the various folders where things are stored. Or maybe you're running this on a, on a local server. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to download the file, the trader objects file, which is the one we want to play around with. Then I'm going to show you how to get how you can get the coordinates to place the traders where you want them and which are the important bits as well, the, bit, the bits that actually make the trader work. So let's take a step backwards then and let's, um, for example, let's go and have a look at a uh, PC. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Daisy PC. Here we go. So let's have a look in this server and I'll show you where the trader file is on a working server. So if we go into the file browser and then we go into Daisy standalone. Um, now you'll see there's there's the trader add-on, and I'm using Nitrado as an example here, but that's not the one we're after. We're after the uh, folder that's inside the config folder on your on your um, server. Now it might be called settings, might be called config. It's the one with that has loads of um, uh, like crash logs and server logs in and things like that. And then if you go into the trader uh, directory, you'll see you've got the trader objects dot text. Now the trader config one, that's the one where you change all the prices. Trader object dot text is the one that where we can actually change the location and add extra traders in. So if you download that file, um, now you could also access 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 this via FTP. Um, if you're on a uh, local server, say you're running on a local server, so for example, here's my Daisy server. Again, you would look in for me, it's in the config folder, and then we go trader and trader objects. So, if we open up trader objects and we see what, what's inside trader objects, well, the first bit at the top this is this is the really important bit. So, this they put some comments here. So, at Green Mountain, you've got six um, kind of well, seven kind of locations for the traders. So, you've got one through five, which are the traders themselves. And then the sixth location is where the vehicles spawn in when you buy a car or if you want to sell a car. So that's where the game is is kind of saying, right, that's where the trader location is. However, the way it works is you, you set the locations where the traders will be. And if you scroll down and you'll say objects to spawn, you'll see that the, at those exact same coordinates, this is where the trader mod spawns in your survivors so there we go so that's the first survivor so survivor arena is an object position 36999 36999 by 27 uh, at 402.13 that's the height and 5967 is the um i think that's north south so it's x y and z so x i think is is east to west the west to east um, y is the height and Z is is the north to south. I could have that the wrong way round in terms of the X and the Z. Normally, all we're worried about is the um, X and the Z. We're not normally that bothered about um, height, but when you're doing traders, height is important. We need all of these coordinates. And if we look at that 3699 by 27, if we go back to the top, we can see that's where the trader marker is. 
So in effect, what happens is the trader marker is where the, the, the server says, OK, so if you stand near this location and you press the interact key, the trader menu will pop up. And then what the mod also does is at that exact same place, it spawns in a survivor. So it looks like you're spawning in a survivor. That's why traders can also be, um, um, they can also be like a vending machine, <laughs> you know, because you do, you would just spawn a vending machine instead of a survivor. So the other things you'll find is if you scroll down, you have all the survivors first, and then you have loads of stuff as well, like guard sheds and power poles and water pumps and cones and that sort of stuff. So that's the, the dressing for the trader, if you like. It has nothing to do with how the trader works, but it makes the trader look good sort of thing in terms of a location. But what we're really interested in, whoop, let's go back to the top, again are these trader markers and the survivor markers as well so what we need to do if you want to create a new trader location you need to get six coordinates for the traders and you need to get one coordinate for where the vehicles will spawn and as i've said you know these are in the in the format of x y and z so X being again, I think it's east west or west east, and Y is height, and Z is is north south. And it can be a ch it's, normally it's a challenge to get these, and you'll see in various videos they say you know go in offline mode and enable debug and all this sort of stuff. However, the easiest way I found to do it is actually to use the Daisy Editor mod. Okay, so here I am in Daisy Editor mod. In fact, we should probably come out of this. And if you go to the Steam Workshop for Daisy. Um, editor. Um, and what I'll do is I'll put a link to the Daisy editor in the description below the video and for the trader mod and I've done a video how to get the Daisy editor mod wor uh, working as well so da the Daisy editor mod is very similar to the uh, Eden um, editor for Armour 3 so in here let's bring up are all my survivors that are my traders you'll probably recognize them from that previous photo these guys and girls haven't got clothes on though <laughs> there we go is that all of them oh, there's one more there's that guy and outside there's the civilian sedan so in order to create um, my trader here of the northeast airfield um what i've what, what i've done is i've used the daisy editor to spawn in players well spawn in survivors where i want my traders to be because this is how i can get the coordinates for those traders now we could just click on these guys and i have got the positions there so we've got x y and z I don't know what that fella's doing, and then we've got the orientation. So that's the the, the rotation of the uh, of the character as well. Um, and I guess you could try and copy all this sort of stuff over, but you've got quite a few quite, quite a few to do. So the way I did it is that you would say you wanted to spawn in a survivor. So let, let's do another one. Let's put another one in. Survivor. If I can spell right. So let's bring Linda in like that there she is so we want to turn her around let's say we wanted to put her against this pillar so we grab the little purple thing there and we would press shift and turn her around and she's probably a little bit low as well so let's press alt so she's on the ground there he is so in fact she likes to fall under the ground doesn't she this girl not sure why so there she is now this is where things get cool so what you now do is you would save it as you're going along and you would then go file and export and the best one i found is export to map group pos all right so you export to map, map group pos um, like this and then you put your file name in so we put um north east airfield for video for example and that would then export a file with the coordinates and orientations of these survivors. So if we come out of this now and we go into my file explorer, 
where um, the editor actually keeps uh, the uh, these files is a little bit difficult to f find to start off with. But if you go to your, your main hard drive, so local disk C in this case, and then you go to users, go to your user. So for me, it's scale speeder, it's scale. And then go in to app data and then local. And then in this case, Daisy and then editor. Here we've got all the files. So what did we call it? I can't remember now. Northeast Airfield for video. There it is. So if we right click there and say edit with notepad, here we go. So what you've got here, you've got all the names of the survivors and then we've got their positions. So we've got X again, east, west um, or north, south. I, I, apologies if I'm getting it wrong, but it, it doesn't really matter. Then you've got the height, which is 140. And then we've got um, north, south. And then we've got the rotation as well. So we've got those those four things we need that we can then take over to the trader markers. So what, what you would then do, and it, I'll show you what I've done here is, if you want, you could replace the coordinates, for example, or you might want to add an extra trader. So all you would do is you would go to Green Mountain, copy all of the trader markers. So right click, you know, copy, and then you would paste it. So you can see where I've pasted it here. So I've put in uh, two forward slashes, NEAF. So that's a, a comment that says Northeast Airfield. And I've pasted in all the trader markers, zero through um, five, and then the extra one for the vehicle spawn. Um, and then all you do is you would let me move that over there. We would go along and go, okay, so there's the first one, and you just copy the X over and paste it onto over the top of the other one. Copy the Y over, paste it on top of the other one. Copy the Z over, paste it over the other one. Now, at this point, you don't need to worry about the rotation because remember the trader marker, that's just a point in space that is saying that's where the trader will be. Then what you do is you go down to your objects to spawn and you would copy, say, from Green Mountain and it's just the survivors we're bothered about. And you would right click, you would copy that and then you would scroll down to the bottom and you would paste it at the bottom like I've done here, and I've put, you know, I've changed the green mountain to forward slash forward slash N E A F. And then all we've got to do now is copy and paste those coordinates that we put in at the top where our survivors are going to spawn in, um, and also the orientation. So, what you do is you would go back to the top, like so, and you would go with this one. You can just copy all of that. So, you'd say copy. Go down to the bottom and you would paste that onto there. And there is object orientation this time. So this is you would then go to your RPY figure here and you would copy that and you would paste that on to there. And you do that for all of the survivors. And then what will happen then is that you can save that file, re-upload it on top of the uh, old file on your um, on your server or in your local server, restart your server, and you will find that you will then have your traders will have appeared where you want them to appear, and it's really that easy. The only thing is time, because obviously what we've got here is with <laughs> these traders, um, not that dead body is you know unlike the trader at green mountain or the other place kamenka i think it is i haven't put any dressing in you know so there's no tables there's no cones there's no containers to make a nice compound for the trader it will physically work as a trader if you go to this place you know it will put in the safe zone and you can buy and sell stuff but it doesn't have the uh, the immersive items so what you would then do at that point is now you've got the um, the knack, if you like, of understanding uh, how to get object positions in. What you could now do is you could go and go right. Okay, well, tell you what, let's go back to Daisy Editor, and let's think. Okay, so what else might we want? You know, in front of these traders, I don't know. Um, maybe we would want some sort of um, 
What have we got? A table. You know, I thought it was a bit of a bit of a crap example that one. Let's get rid of that. What have we got? A builder builder table. There we go. You know, maybe we would put tables in front of them. Something. Let's get a bit closer. Something like that. You know, this is all the the set dressing, if you like. You know, where the vehicle would spawn, um, you, said you would then put cones around this area so that people would know where to drive the cars in if they wanted to sell the cars. Maybe you would put a load of containers around the outside. You know, can land container. There, dunk. And we could you know, turn that around. We can, you know, do whatever we want to with that. And using that same technique of going file, export, export to map group, pause, you would then have a file that would say, you know, land container, and it would have the X, Y, Z, and the orientation of that container as well, and the pitch and the yaw as well, in case you needed it. And then you can go into your trader objects, and you can just go down to the spawning bit down here, which says object. So you put object, you put the name, object position, object orientation, and it's that easy. It all it takes is time to do it, um, and you can go through and you can create a custom trader pretty much wherever you like. Um, and uh, and that's how that's how you create custom trader positions by combining the trader mod with the most excellent. Um, uh, Daisy editor mod um, and you can work out where exact positions are now maybe this is making you think as well thinking oh actually now I know how to find out the exact coordinates for items there's all sorts of other things you can do as well but we'll have to leave those for a different video so hopefully if you found that useful hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and I will of course see you again soon